What's going on, everybody? It's a stream car breaks. No, we are not breaking. We're going to be talking about the 1990 Fleer Jose Yorabe card that is really a lot of people talk about it, but they really never get down to what's the real reason behind it. Now, really, there's about two reasons. So let's let's just touch this real quick. We all know 1990s products, they were like produced by the billions. So there's plenty of these out there. I just happened to have a box of 90 Fleer and pulled that. Might have been more. I just kept one off to the side. But I want to show you, this is what the card is. Go on eBay. Look at what people are selling them for. Even look at the ones that have been sold so far. It's insane. Now, I'm going to tell you, this card is not worth more than the freaking two cents it's probably used to print with. All right? Now, real quick, let's just talk about Jose. Now, he played on the Giants. He was starting shortstop from 86 to 92. All right? He was an average player. There was nothing great about him. Like, you know, he's some superstar or anything. And he was also a hometown favorite when he played with the Giants. So, you know, he was well-loved within San Francisco. Okay? Does that make this card being $758,000? No, not at all. All right. So, what happened was, in 2006, uh, he died in a car accident. But that still doesn't explain why the card prices soared up. So even if you start thinking when other people have died throughout their career, there's a spike in the price. Nothing that's insane like this right here. And I mean, really, you can, you should pick these up dirt cheap. So don't go on eBay and buy these for some kind of crazy error card they're talking about and all this. There's nothing wrong with the card itself. I'll tell you that right off the bat. Now I have two theories behind this. Now, the first one you see is going across your screen. I'll explain that last. But my first theory is, you know, you always have people who want to show up the price of cards. And they'll either have two accounts, have their buddy buy it, whatever it may be, for an unreasonable amount of money. But then people are like, whoa, there's a spike. Now, going from a two-cent card to 758000 is just ridiculous. I mean, you can look at some of the wacky prices on there. It's like five hundred twenty-five thousand, twenty-nine, twenty-four, twenty thousand, so on. Right? You can even look at the one sold. There, there's one sold. People buying for like twenty to hundred dollars. It's insane. No, I'm not selling this either. It's going to go into a box. But um, I'm sure somebody's going to ask me in the comments. I'll give you like five dollars ship for it. No, no, no. I don't even want to be part of it. But I think sometimes people try to inflate cards. But this is a 1990 Fleer. Why would you try to inflate it? I could see, like, if you were sitting there with, you know, Mike Trout's. Hint, hint, somebody was doing that. Um, even with Luca, okay, well, you know, he's doing great. We're going to try to sell it for our 50 bucks more, 100 bucks more, and spike the prices and load the rest of my stuff. You know, it's just one of those common pieces onto it. So I really don't think offhand that somebody's trying to spike a 1990s card. I could see it being the Frank Thomas, No Name, or the George Bush um, Topps card, something like that. Now, I don't want to speculate anything. I don't know if this is, like, pure truth or not. I've been trying to do some research onto it, and there's stuff you can find on the Internet. I think that there, this here could be used as a money laundering card. And what do I mean by that? Well, basically, you know... You're trying to get clean money for either back in the day illegal gambling, which was only legal in like Vegas, Atlantic City, and a few other places. You know, it had licenses, and along with your Indian casinos. Or could have been used as a crime tax card, you know. You, you never know really where it was at. But to me, it had to be used as some type of money laundering, whatever it may have been back in the day on to it. You know, whether it was for some kind of high crime, whether it was for drug trade, gun trade, whatever it may be, it was some type of crime to me out there in order for somebody to pay this. And the only way you do this, it's clean money. So just think about it. Yeah, I buy this card for $20,000. I send it over. Yeah, you got to pay a little bit of eBay fees and PayPal fees. But in the long run, the other person gets paid clean money. You're buying something in return. And it's something that's very common out there. So, you know, word in the street is, hey, just post this on there, Jose Yorbe, you know. So I really think that there's been some type of money laundering that's gone on with this card. In no way is it worth this amount of money. I'm not telling you to go out and buy it. I'm not telling you to go out there and post money laundering with Jose Yorbe 1990 Fleer cards. 
I'm just trying to bring up the point to why this card it, it was started so far up there. And it's probably been nipped in the butt. Now people are just trying to roll onto that effect of it. You know, just, just really think hard about it. Um, you, you don't have some common card out there that's going to be worth that kind of money. And people that are paid for doing one of two things. Usually it's trying to inflate the card value. Well, these were like printed by billions, okay? Probably not billions, but you know what I'm talking about. A lot of cards were printed. You know, the 90s and even the late 80s. So, well, you can't really inflate that price up too much. I can see if you try to make it three, four, five dollars. Okay, yeah, you inflate it. So it had to be have another means behind it. Nobody's really, really looked into. Um, I found an article. I'm going to post it down in the uh, what do you call it thing down below description. So make sure you guys look in there, look it up. That's just one guy's thing. But if you look it up. All kind of people have different opinions on to it. My my opinion offhand is it was used as a money laundering tactic back in the day so that people could filter money. And it was just basically, you know, a way of transferring money and making it clean. Hopefully that makes a good bit of sense. I don't want to take a whole lot of time on to this, but uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments on to it. I mean, there's other ones. Alex Madrid's 89 Donruss. I mean, I don't have one on me that I could show you. That's another prime example. I think people that were doing this stuff picked out certain cards that were mass produced, and they just used it as their way of cl having clean money go across in transactions so they couldn't get in trouble for whatever else they were doing. But like I said, tell me what you think below in the comments. Let's try to get some discussions up onto this. It's always pretty cool to see, you know, what people come up with or what, what everybody else has for reasons. I, I'm on the money laundering thing primarily for myself, just saying that that's what I think it was used for. In no means am I telling you <laughs> to go out there and try this or try to investigate it. It's just one of those things we just could sit there and have a little group discussion here on YouTube about. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. Again, 1990 Fleer, Jose Uribe, baseball card. Why Why did? Why was it selling for so much? Why did they sell for so much? You guys can see what the ripple effect's been. You still got the inexperienced, low low people out there that have no idea. And I don't mean low by that, but I'm just being like low exper inexperience out there to where they, they don't know the hobby and they think it's a great deal because they see these things sold on their past, you know, eBay auctions or whatever. And they're like, oh, man, I can get this for 50 bucks. First card I'm buying right there. You know, we got to make everybody aware. You know, the hobby's getting bigger. There's a lot of scams that are going on out there from trimming cards and everything else. And this is just one way of helping to make things more aware for everybody out there. Again, subscribe to the channel. Drop what you guys think in the comments. We'll try to get this thing going up, up, up. And then don't forget to like the video. Appreciate it, guys, and then I will be back next week with some product. You guys, get ready to get it, and don't forget, check out the eBay store, too. Talk to y'all later.